breaking news man what's up it's your boy von blues boxing man i'm back but breaking news so i just seen the article about an hour ago that the arbitration between deontay wilder and tyson fury went into wilder's favor so from what i was reading the arbitrator ruled that tyson fury would have to fight deontay wilder by september 15th but there could be possibly extension to that so from what i'm seeing is is you know from what i read wilder has won this case in his in his favor and now what happens to four bill undisputed between anthony joshua and tyson fury you know that is a good good question i don't you know i wonder how they're gonna pull this off because they may not be able to pull this off especially with it getting favored to deontay wilder and the thing was this is why i didn't report on the arbitration thing that's why i didn't speak my mind on it. i didn't try to give no opinions i didn't try to say that this fight was gonna happen this didn't i didn't want to because i wanted to wait and see how things played out before i could give them you know my opinion my thoughts or even speak up on the situation now some people probably some people spoke too quick some people were saying oh it's signed wilder's just gonna get step aside money he just gonna do this this this, this and that no you needed to that's why we need to be patient and let things play out let stuff play out before we jump the gun and start speaking on stuff you know what i'm saying and that's something that some people did they jumped the gun on this thing eddie hearn was out there you know preaching this and saying hey this is gonna happen this is gonna happen while frank warren and bob aram was kind of you know you know standoffish about it because bob aram and frank warren you know they in there with with the arbitration thing so they hearing what's going on between in court and stuff like that between deontay wilder's lawyers and people and fury's people and you know frank warren and them and bob aram and you know their people and stuff like that so they knew what was kind of going on that's why they wasn't too like hey 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 this fight is gonna happen they was kind of just like all right let's see how things play out let's see things out got things playing out and eddie hearn was jumping the gun that's why as me as a boxing fan i don't really sit back and listen to any promoters might that be al Heyman if he talked might that be bob aram might that um be um eddie hearn might that be frank warren or might that be any promoter i let things play out before i say you know try to speak on it you know now wilder can still take step aside money let the fight happen and have a uh basically something guaranteed to him to fight the winner or maybe fight tyson fury you know what i'm saying maybe he has something guaranteed like that but then again I don't know because Wilder, the way his position seems like he's not going to take any step aside money. He's going to try to force the issue to make this third fight happen with Tyson Fury. And that could be a problem for Four Belt Undisputed. And I know most, a lot of the boxing world and a lot of Fury fans and AJ fans, they probably disappointed as hell because they want to see this Four Belt Undisputed. Now you got Wilder fans and fat Wilder fanboys like myself who are excited like, oh, Fury might, Wilder going to get this third fight. We're going to get, he going to get the, but we don't know what the hell is going to happen with this fight. Right? We don't. We don't know if Wilder and Fury going to fight the, uh, the third time on September 15th or before AJ and Fury fight because we really don't know. You know what I'm saying? Now, I am speculating a little bit, contradicting myself just like I did in the beginning of the video, but we need to see what kind of plays out. Now, from the reports, it's saying that Wilder, September 15th, you know, Tyson Fury, by September 15th, Tyson Fury would have to fight him, but there's an extension. Now, Wilder might take some step-aside money. He might just take some step-aside money and have something guaranteed by maybe uh, Frank Warren and Bob Arum or Eddie Hearn and them that, okay, maybe you get the winner. You know, okay, Wilder, you take the step-aside money, you get the winner of Fury and AJ. We, you know what I'm saying? That's something that could be possibly did, but I don't know if Wilder and his team going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if, if uh, Al Heyman and Shelly Finkel are going to really do that. I think they're going to really, really push this issue to try to make this fight happen and do everything, you know, probably do everything in their power to make sure that this four belt undisputed fight don't go on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what, you know, it seemed like it might go that way. Now, we might be wrong. You know, Wilder might be like, all right, fuck it. Y'all take, y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. Just, I need my guarantee and contract on, on a, in a contract that I get the winner of one of y'all. I'm cool with that as a Wilder fan. If that happens, I'm cool with that. If Wilder gets his third fight with Fury, I'm cool with that. 
You know what I'm saying? Whichever way I'm, it goes, I'm fine with it. You know what I'm saying? If it's AJ and Fury, hey, I'm excited to watch that fight. I know my boy lost, but at the end of the day, I can still respect and appreciate them dudes getting it on and one of them becoming the top dog in this division, being, you know, undisputed, being number one, no talk, clear cut, the number one guy in this division. But whichever way it goes is going to go. You know what I'm saying? Because it seems like the, ju the judge, basically, from what I'm reading, he was in uh, Deontay Wilder's favor. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the case went in Deontay Wilder's favor from what I'm reading. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what happens. This is a very interesting thing, man. I just wanted to get this news to y'all because like maybe everybody hasn't seen it yet. But if you haven't seen it, get on ESPN. It's on boxing scenes. You know, it's on all the little media outlets. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? And get a read for yourself. Leave some comments on what y'all think about this, why y'all think it's going to go. I personally don't know. I, In my opinion, I think Wilder and them is going to try to hold that fight up that four belt undisputed fight up as much as they can you know i don't know what's gonna happen from that but from what i'm reading it's in deontay wilder's favor and tyson fury would have to fight him by september 15th but from what i also read on espn there's an extension so maybe there's an extension maybe fury can you know maybe they can work something out wilder gets a nice chunk of money and wilder uh gets the winner of fury and joshua you know to have a contract like that then maybe we, you know, to probably still see four bonus dudes, or we might see Wilder and his team just be like, "Hey, we we want we supposed to have this fight." Because the thing is, reason why I didn't speak on this whole thing was because reason why Wilder and Fury three didn't happen is because of COVID. Simple as that. Nobody was ducking nobody. Nobody was making an excuses. It was COVID. COVID stopped that. And that type of fight, like Fury and Wilder, they're not finna fight with no crowd. Not after you make sixteen million dollars in a live gate. And you basically had the highest heavyweight live gate since Lewis and Tyson. They're not in the media, in the pay-per-view buys from digital sales and traditional pay-per-view buys. It was no way Fury and Wild AJ, I mean Fury and uh, Wilder was going to fight with no live crowd. So you knew that wasn't going to happen. But it's just funny how this whole thing situation has played out because people were jumping the gun. I feel like people were jumping the gun about this instead of just letting it play out. That's why I don't report on stuff like this. That's why I don't talk about stuff like this until I see a sign in paper or something that's solidified. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, some people jump the gun. They just jump the gun on it, you know, and we still need to see how this is going to play out. You know what I'm saying? We still need to see how this is going to play out. This is going to be interesting, man. But, hey, it is what it is, man. This is how the sport is. You sign on that piece of paper. But anyways, man, I just wanted to get that out there to y'all. Von Blues Boxing, I'm out.